Hello, this is Big Cat coming at you live with another video. We're going to be taking on the Pokeball Cup. It's going to be the Master Ball level. And I got a like with me here today. Crunch, crunch, munch, munch. It's your boy, Big Me. Uh, the Master Ball Cup. You know what bothers me now that I think about it? Master Balls are so to, said to be like a secret thing that's like special and stuff like that, like no one really knows about it or has it. And my question now becomes is, if they're supposed to be that way, why are they calling their cups a Master Ball Cup where they're supposed to be that sacred and hidden? Like, am I overthinking this? Anyway, priming goes down on one hit. But I have used priming before. If you don't know when I've used it, you should have <coughs> watched the uh, Coliseum videos. Mm. Actually, speaking of Coliseum videos, I might actually be doing a new randomizer and uh, continuing on. Or actually, I don't know, comment below if you want me to do the ROM hack of X, uh, Pokemon X Eagle Darkness next gen, do a playthrough of that. If you want that. I might do that. I mean, of course, this is more like later down the road because I still got to complete um, Stadium 2, uh, Stadium, and also got to complete Revolution. That's the last um, Battle of Revolution or Stadium like game. Yes, I will be doing, like I said, I will be doing a full run through of Battle of Revolution. Um, but that will not be happening until I finish both Pokemon Stadium and Stadium 2. Quick battle. Quick, 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 quick battle. You don't mess with the boulder. Sorry, I got random inspiration. Also, Master Ball Cup, random people like to have legendaries for no apparent reason. I don't know why this guy has a Zapdos. And on top of that, I don't know why he named it Zap Ace. Or all his Pokemon have an ending of Ace. None of this shit makes any sense. This is when I severely regret the fact that I don't have an actual ground type Pokemon. And again, I think I talked about it in a previous episode about the stats. I don't know how the fuck Tauros is faster than Electrode, but it was. So I don't know how they do their stats. But this starts becoming really easily uh, uh, changed once um, round two happens when they actually have proper stats. Also, are you giving us some of that ASMR thing? So sorry. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> you crunch me everything. Should have said they were French toast. You can say they were our French toast. Fossil flakes. You can say they were great. <laughs> no Tony uh, representation this time. <laughs> They're Rudy. No, I sound. I sound like him. Did I, did I sound like him? Say again. They're great. There's a distinct difference in the number of oh, remaining I have a bit of Tony the Tiger in me. I shall cherish that forever. Why he, this guy did not bring Zapdos, I have no idea. I, I really don't know why he didn't bring Zapdos. I don't even know why he brought so many grass types. I don't have that many ground types of things that you can counter with ground. If anything, I literally have a fucking nine tails, which would give the idea that you probably don't want to bring a grass type. How will this swap affect the outcome? <laughs> yeah, but I was not going for cheese here. I was just going to go and kill this thing quickly. I was trying to finish this tournament in a decent manner.
And this team slightly scared me because of the Snorlax, which always scares me. Gengar and the Jinx. Those are the three Pokemon that scares to me. Just because even though Gengar and Jinx, I could wall out Snorlax, I had nothing on because I don't have that many fighting moves because I am not good at planning Pokemon teams. <laughs> Supremacy. Deep. We might be in for a one sided affair. Oh, it's Snorlax. I'm playing ground. You're playing what? Ground. The remaining Pokemon now three to two. Playing what? This ground. battle is still up in the air. The hell is rounded? Uh, real life. Oops, that's a uh, man. Minecraft. Funny, we funny ash on the kid. Fireworks are flying in this battle. Minecraft meets funny ash on the kid. That's the best way I can explain it. Ah! Miss the target! Yeah, so here I started trying to fish for a. Fisher, because. I was trying to kill this thing quickly, and I really didn't want to have to wait 18 turns. Come true. There, it's a hit. Neither one is conceding an eight. What's that? Heavy damage. It's building energy for the next attack. The intense battle continues. What's this? What the week? Oh, it's now! Yep, and with that, without too much of a hiccup, Taurus sweeps the entire team. The or almost sweeps the entire team. Oh, it's Hypno! Yeah, I don't know why they brought Hypno. He should have brought Jengar. The Pokemon count is 3 to 1. The battle has become one sided. I just, I don't understand sometimes. I really don't, but who knows? Who knows? As Hypno suggests, Hypno tries to put me to sleep. The tour says not that. Here's an interesting question. Dank, what movie do you wish you could forget and rewatch for the first time? Whoa, looks like a bad Pokemon choice. Vigorous attack. No, this Pokemon looks wrong. For me, it would always be Howl's Moon Castle. I love that movie, and that is a movie I really wish I could just rewatch and watch for the first time over and over again. Such a beautiful fucking movie. What now? Perfect, yes. And it's down. The next what about Pokemon you? Is being oh, it's dark. One movie? How will the type difference affect mm -hmm. that? Is it the line movie? What'll it do? 
Dude, you're quiet as hell. I cannot hear you. <laughs> the, la the labyrinth. The labyrinth. Yeah. I never heard of that movie. I'm gonna look it up. I might recognize it if I look it up. Had David Bowie in it. Goblin King. Oh no, I've seen clips of this. I never actually watched it though. Oh, I need to watch this. Currently on Netflix. Yeah, I need to watch this, but I've seen clips of it. Hmm. It's a good movie. All right, what's one movie you wish you could erase from your uh, memory? <sighs> Dragon Ball Z Evolution. Ooh. See, I've seen that and almost tempted to say that, but I would rather get rid of um, Avatar Last Airbender, that movie, the live action, because I was in theaters and I watched that entire thing. Oh, you watched it in theaters. See, I still yes. haven't watched it. Yeah, I was at theaters and I watched that. It was not fun. Couldn't leave. It was it was a bad time all over around. <laughs> okay, here's a fun one. What um dwarf do you think I am most like in Snow White? In the Snow White move movie in the Seven Doors. Which one do you think I am most like? So if I would have to choose it for you, the two I would probably choose, because I'm between two, is between Doc and Sleepy. I was going to say Sleepy for you. <laughs> you are asleep more than I am. <laughs> it also, I'm throwing Doc in there only because you like to fix a lot of things. Like that, so Doc comes the closest to that. I appreciate it. I mean, I, I wasn't saying it as a compliment or an age, I was just stating a fact. <laughs> I like that. I was just stating a fact, my good sire. The next Pokemon is being prepped. Alright, what Disney princess do you think I most like then? This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. That's a good question, give me one second. <laughs> Uh oh, it's confused. Sparks are flying in this heated battle. What's that? <laughs> What's the weak one? Jimmy? Right, Thunderbolt! Get him! Love, love the fact that RNG allowed us to train, uh, trade critical blows. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. It shook off its confusion. Ah! I say. I say princess. Pokemon will be fighting next? Princess. Oh, it's fancy. The remaining Pokemon is two to one. Um, the combat is making sparks fly. Tiana. What will it do? Because you can cook. Boom. Hmm. Fair enough, I guess. Ah. Uh. 
for you, who would you be most like? Fireworks are flying in this battle. There it goes. Super effective. And it's down. And who would you be most like? Oh my god. So you're, again, a mix between two. I think the, um, I forgot her name. I think it's Merida from Braid, her, and Anna from Frozen. Brave, because she's basically trying to find her own way, push her own way, and go for her own things, stuff like that, and do her own things, which is something you like to do too. But you also like to include your friends around you and also help them each up, which is kind of like more the Anna part. So that's like how I see it, I think. <laughs> I'd just choose one or the other, probably more towards the Brave Princess. Which level you can get that bit of honor in you. Good hit. Fireworks are flying in this battle. Body slam. Right, what food would you never eat aside from eggs that aren't cooked? Because I know you don't like <laughs> eggs. <laughs> I was going to say that. Oh, it's Vaporia! This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. There's the attack! A savage hit! What now? Uh, uh, what are they called? Something oysters. You don't like oysters? No, no, not that oysters. There, it's a hit. Then what kind of oysters? I'm curious now. The uh, what is it called? Uh, Rocky Mount oysters. Why do you like Rocky Mount oysters with normal oysters? Yeah, it's just like a texture thing. Oh, uh, one of them's not really an oyster. There's a difference oh. in the number of reserved Pokemon. Oh, it's Revenant. That makes a lot of sense. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. Yeah, for me, it's going to be always Nato. But if I had to choose a second thing, it's always going to be peppers after that. I don't like eating peppers. I hate eating peppers. But Nato, fermented soybean, I cannot stand that shit. If you, I mean, if you like it, you like it. I just, I can't. I tried it. I have actually tried it. No. That's a good hit. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? It can't make a move. Ride that, sir. Perfect day. Now, that didn't take much. I don't know where we're at in the tournament right now. I know we're getting really close to the end, like very close to the end, but. This team's like unstoppable. Unstoppable. But a lot of this is just round one. Round one is really not that hard, but I do still want to show it just in case people want to um attempt this on their own. They can at least see what the teams look like. This team kind of caught me off guard because of that Zapdos. But I wasn't worried about it. It was just like, shit, he has one. <laughs> I feel like Zapdos was a pretty good menace in uh, the Generation 1 games because it only had really one, two weaknesses, or one maybe. 
I can't remember if Rock was really weak to flying at that time, or I think it was actually, yeah. Rock was super effective against it, it just wasn't super effective against uh, Fire at that time. Yeah, at the original time, because they changed the typings from uh, the original Gen 1 games to the uh, Gen 2 and onwards. So Charizard usually didn't really have an actual 4 times weakness in the beginning of the games. Which I don't know why they changed that, that seems like a really weird change to make, but... Yeah, I'm gonna double check myself, and I'm 99% sure if what I am saying is correct. No, I've been wrong. Apparently, saying rocket is times four. What now? Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. There it goes. The bear hit. Actually, maybe I will am wrong about that. So yeah, ignore that. I know they made type changes to so like move. What was it too weak? I could have sworn I thought Rock had some weird thing with fire in the first generation. Brock. No, um... I'm on Generation 1. Generation 1, the types were all weird. They had a lot of weird like types. Huh? You make it seem like it's a bad thing. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it was kind of because Psychic was just too overpowered because of that. Yeah, this old man has a fucking threatening ass team. But anyway, but yeah, uh, it's like we just do how close to that. I don't think I remember even seeing Lapras. Did I see Lapras since well? Who will bat in the glory of the championship? Yeah, Moors. Named it Moors. They strike fighting poses. Savage attack! A savage hit! What will the trainer do now? Yeah, that was such a bullshit crit, but I was like, whatever. The fire chicken dead. The next Pokemon is being prepped. Oh, it's Jolteon! Yeah, this coming up, I don't know why he brought Jolteon instead of, um... Either Articuno or, um... Well, I mean, actually, I don't know why he brought Jolteon. Jolteon doesn't really seem like a Pokemon that would be useful in this fight. I don't know why he brought it. Oh, it's Clara! Yeah, and also, I don't know brought Tauros, too. He probably could have brought... I mean, Tauros actually wasn't a bad choice, because Tauros has a lot of that, uh, move to whatever he could use to be advantageous. Advantage. This. Advantage in this fight. But he just... He brought the weirdest team. Like, he even made Dragonite. Dragonite would have been a good choice. Well, not against Tauros, but Tauros has Ice Beam, but... It still would have been a better choice than what he chose to bring. I don't know. They just they, sometimes the computers do some of the weirdest things. Like I'm not trying to make it hard myself. Like I know it sounds like that. I'm not trying to. But it's just like you you could have made better choices. <laughs> you, you you could have made a lot better choices than what you made. that like comment subscribe 
Make sure to check out the description. I like little quotes in there for y'all. And with that being said and done, please have a good day. Thanks, signs out. Bye. And see.